There are very few perfect places to grow up in, where childhood is a magical and happy time, where a girl can truly blossom to her full potential in surroundings of beauty and tranquility. Baringa East was not one of those places. Doing. Barry Hollis is doing an experiment. Are you nuts here? Let me untie. No, no, it's all right. Barry said he'd untie me before the bell. Imagine the son of Satan now at hair gel and you find <laughs> Barry Hollis. Yeah, okay. There are two R's in Barry. Nothing eases the effects of trauma like a visit to the sick bay. A place where I was truly appreciated. You know, while I'm here, I think we should update my medical records. I discovered two new allergies over the weekend. <clears throat> Let's see. Arthritis, diabetes, gallstones, gout. Allergies to bee stings, dust mites, clover, horsehair, wattle, pollen, and clag glue. And we're adding? Uh, cinnamon and emulsify 471. Had a nasty incident with a Pop-Tart. I think you can go now. So what do you do when you're stuck with a bunch of vandals, bimbos, and pyromaniacs? Pray. Because sometimes prayers are answered. My name is Miss Belmont, and you are the famous 9C. Yes, I know all about you. Sit. Three teachers retired, two in a psychiatric institution, and one run away to join the Hare Krishnas. I know all about you, but you know nothing about me or what I am capable of. Hmm. Someone to clean the board. Girl with one eyebrow. Your name? My life's dream was to be a great actress and have my name in lights. But first, I'd have to change it from... Erica Gherkin. Erica is a very beautiful name. Did you know that it means great heroine? <laughs> Miss Belmont made me feel so special. I was in heaven which conveniently was located next to the staff room. Really? 
Vicky needs that too after the uh, notorious 9C. Why is that? Two words. Barry Hollis. Barry? He's a sweetheart. Thank goodness he was there because I'd run out of cigarettes. Right. Well, um, I should you have any trouble uh, and you need some help. <clears throat> I'll get up, Mr. Kennard. If you ask me, the real worry in 9C is Erica Yerkin. Erica, why? Her tension's better. She's explained to her second wife about his practical wrist surgery. Erica, what are you doing? Um, draining your wax. I have a special job for you. A job? My little sister Jeddah had been pretending to be a horse for seven years. Mum said she needed understanding. What I needed was a set of spurs. I'm going. I'm getting a whip. Ah, Mini Yerkin. Still think you're a pony? Giddy up. The good thing about Baringa East is that it was a community. You were always bumping into a familiar face. Like Mr. Brosek on his way home what? from work. Excuse me! Cops! Say hi to your mum, yeah? Hi. And you always felt safe in Baringa East. People knew their neighbours, no matter how different. Now don't start that again. You're like a broken... Hi, Miss Wallace. Oh, God bless you, Sister Veronica. My name's Erica. Forgive me, Sister Erica. You look so much like your sister, sister. And no, you're not imagining it. They are crop circles. Yeah. Hang on a sec. Oh, my God, what did you do to your eyebrow, you freak? Yeah, dude, she's only got one eyebrow. So my big sister was emotionally challenged. And my little sister had turned our room into a stable. But it didn't matter. Because one day, I'd have my own room. I was destined for greater things. Give me my Romeo. And when he shall die, take him and cut him out into little stars. And he will make the face of heaven so bright all the world will be in love with night. Having a good dream, are we? What happened to your eyebrow? Barry Hollis. He's been keen on you since primary school, that one. Mum, he's a psycho. When I'm rich and famous, I'm going to build him his own lunatic asylum. As long as you don't forget your old mum busting a gut at the happy leprechaun. Oh, don't worry. I'll need someone to yell at the servants. But the rest of them are out. Erk, just remember, your family's who you are. Well, I hope not. I've got one sister who thinks she's a horse, another who's got a black belt and being a bitch, and bloody Harley's still more in crop circles in the front lawn. You'll be singing a different tune when he makes contact with an alien life form. It is an alien life form. <gasps> Barry Hollis chased me? Barry Hollis. He tore off my tail. She's eight years old. How dare you leave her alone? 
I will kill you if you abandon her again. What was I supposed to do? She was eating someone's nature strip blade by blade. Uh, that's true, Mum. Jed is a freak. You really can't blame Yuck for that. Thanks, Valjoy. I'm glad you it. This, on the other hand, is a reason to strangle the slimy little snitch. You see that? I made a special mark on there, and look, some's missing. You thieving piece of scum! Hail Joy, let your sister go and wait your bloody turn. Though I haven't finished with her. No, Mum, don't go! Say goodnight. Yuck, yuck. Hail Joy, it's scum! You're dead. Ooh. Where do you think you're going dressed like that? Well, let me think about it. Out. Eli's home. Didn't think he was coming. Yep, and before you ask, there was no chance I was adopted. I'd already checked. Last night, I spent hours going through your assignments on Greenland. And afterwards, I felt dirty. Like a part of my life had been stolen forever. So now, I'm going to steal a part of yours. In a matter of weeks, Miss Belmont had crushed us like insects. I liked her. Ah, James Adams. What can I say about half a page of grammatically obscene drivel written in red pen that confuses Greenland with Queensland? Ah, I know. Tom Barrow. On the net, are we, Tom? Sophie. And now for... Mother. Miss Finland in the national flag, while fascinating to you, does not necessarily constitute in-depth research, does it? As usual, Erica's assignment was the exception. It was legible, it made some sense, and most importantly, it got the right country. Bravo. You heard her. I'm exceptional, which of course I knew, but never tired of hearing. I put on an expression of dignified modesty and waited for more praise. Then... Mrs. Orlando, do come in. This must be our new girl. Alison Ashley. Alison has recently returned from travelling to Europe. Now, we all know where Europe is, don't we? 